If you have blood type A and would like to reduce your likelihood of cancer, heart disease, OCD, and overall anxiety, then stay tuned because I have the list you need of food you should eat and food you should avoid for blood type A. In a previous video, I referenced the book Eat Right for Your Type by Dr. Peter Diadamo, this book here, and I talked about the history of blood types and how they evolved over time from type O to type A, B, and AB. So if you would like to watch that video, click on the link in the description or the card and check that out. For type A, I explained that they thrive on a vegan vegetarian diet since they have low stomach acid, which does not support the breakdown of meat. Other diets such as the pescatarian diet, which includes fish and veggies, as well as the Mediterranean diet, which includes dairy, grains, fish and veggies, fall into the blood type A diet category as well. Dr. Diodamo mentions that A stands for agrarian, which means cultivation of the land. And when we look at the word Mediterranean, it has the word terrain in it, which also points towards agriculture. In my opinion, it is likely that the vegan diet is pushed by type A's who benefit from the vegan diet because they're type A's. They're supposed to eat veggies mostly and avoid meat. So this is beneficial for other people who are type A's, but it's not good advice for everyone to jump on that vegan bandwagon. I even tried the vegan diet myself, being a type O, and it just did not sit well with me. It made my digestive issues intensify. And this just goes to show that one diet for everyone does not work. Since everything we eat creates a chemical reaction between our blood and our food, we need to make sure we're eating according to our blood type. This means that our lectins, yes, humans have lectins. Our lectins will not look at that food that we're eating as... Uh, an enemy or a foreign invader and signal the immune system to destroy it because if it's according to our blood type it's something that the lectins find favorable they like that remember lectins means in latin in, in latin lectin means i choose so we want to eat the food that our lectins choose us to eat so with that said there are foods that are vegan but they are not compliant with the blood type A diet and they should not eat those foods. When they eliminate these foods that they cannot eat, their health improves. Now I will share with you the list of popular foods that blood type A's should eat. As Dr. Diadamo does in his book, Eat Right For Your Type, I will categorize the foods into highly beneficial, neutral, and foods that you should avoid as a blood type A. Starting off with highly beneficial, a majority of your diet should consist of these foods. Red snapper, salmon, pecorino cheese, olive oil, peanuts, black beans, oatmeal, celery, pineapple, coffee, parsley, molasses. Next up is neutral foods for blood type A. These foods are allowed sometimes but won't negatively affect your health. Tilapia, chicken, eggs, avocado oil, almonds, peas, quinoa, seaweed, avocado, almond milk, cornstarch, stevia. And lastly, I have foods that type A's should avoid. These foods should be eliminated from your diet altogether. Catfish, beef, butter, castor oil, cashews, chickpeas, whole wheat flour, cabbage, oranges, beer, black pepper, cayenne pepper, white pepper, gelatin. So to recap, blood type A's are the ones who should be vegans since their digestive system does not suit the breakdown of meat but mostly veggies. Remember that if you want to eat in partnership with your body and improve your health, eat according to your blood type. And if you would like a full list of the foods that blood type A's should eat and should not eat, head to the link in my description and grab your copy of Eat Right for Your Type. So for this video, your homework is to find out what your blood type is. Many of us are eating like type A's and we are not blood type A's, like I'm not. <laughs> I'm a type O and I was eating like a type A. In my description, you'll find a link to a blood type testing kit where you can go ahead and purchase you one for under 10 bucks. It is easy and it's instantaneous. Also check out the tutorial I made on how to take your blood test which is linked in the description as well. 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.